to share with you a pattern that I made, which is a pattern that I found while I was out thrifting one day. It is an older pattern. It is from 2009 and it is McCall's 8602. I made view A, which is the shorter skirt of the three. And I made it in this fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics, and it is a quilted denim. And the inside has this kind of softer, maybe polyester kind of fabric on the inside. And then it is a fabric that has a fill, I believe cotton fill in the middle. Yeah, so I just thought I would try something different and use this fabric. And some of the features in this pattern, there are pleats in the front and the back of the skirt. There is a back centered zipper. And then the pattern calls for hooks and eyes. And I did end up using two hooks and eyes to go at the top of the waistband to keep the waistband closed. This pattern is rated as very easy Vogue and I would definitely agree with that. To my surprise, there are only three pattern pieces, which I did not know that that was going to be the case. And I was like, oh, wow, it's only three pieces. That's pretty cool. So you have the front, the back, and the waistband. Now, some of the things that I did different is I made sure to use a denim needle. I also used a denim zipper, which and it has metal teeth. Like the metal teeth are gold, which I thought was a nice contrast with the navy blue or the denim blue denim fabric. So let's see if there is anything else. Yes, there is. I did shorten the skirt. So the skirt came out below my knee. It was really long on me. And I didn't care for that look on myself, especially with this fabric because the fabric was so thick and the skirt kind of, you know, kind of bows out a little bit. So I decided to shorten the skirt and I ended up taking off about seven to eight inches to make the short a lot skirt, uh, to make the skirt a lot shorter. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and show you what this skirt looks like on. I used the polyester side to make the skirt and the reason I did that is because when I was folding the fabric in half in order to cut the pattern out I actually began to really fall for this side of the fabric and I thought it was different and I was like huh I wonder if I made a skirt out of this side how that would look so I just thought I would step out the box and just give it a try and I'm actually happy with the results I think it's very very different and it might even be on trend because I saw some pictures on Pinterest with the same kind of skirt and I thought okay okay so yes I really like it and the skirt poofs out but I like that because it gives me kind of a party dress type of feel so if I ever go out to a party or something that could be a skirt that I can keep in mind that I can wear so that is my skirt, that is my sewing make, and now I will leave you with a love share. All right, so something I have learned recently, which is my love share, is that Japan has a rent a family industry. What that means is that people in Japan can actually rent family members to fill in a void or fill in where another family member may be absent. So as an example, Someone can hire a father to walk a bride down the aisle. Also, someone can hire a wife, a husband, a grandchild, for example. And in some cases, you can even hire a friend just to spend time with you for companionship and for maybe hours of conversation. I thought that was so interesting. 
amazing. I was just blown away when I learned that. And I looked it up on YouTube and I found a video that talks a little bit about this industry. Or I will make sure that I link it in the video and put it somewhere up here if you'd like to click on it here. And you can check it out as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.